hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be doing a review of the black girl sunscreen if you are a skincare junkie like me you probably have heard of the black girl sunscreen is it worth your money should you buy it is it really black girl friendly like the name says it will be awkward if it says black girl sunscreen and it doesn't sit well on black skin we are going to be testing all that out in this video wait on it this is the black girl sunscreen i'm just going to show you how it looks like you probably have seen on the thumbnail it this is um three ounces you know i used to call ounces o's <laughs> god until my friends called me out anyways this is three ounces um it is broad spectrum spf 30 and it is a moisturizing sunscreen lotion so if you have oily skin you probably don't even need a moisturizer when you use this if you have dry skin you might need to layer on a moisturizer before using this um it costs on the website i am currently on the black girl sunscreen website and it costs 18.99 that's like 19 us dollars and um it says on the body that it is oxybenzone and paraben free ultra sheer and fragrance free fragrance <laughs> fragrance Fragrance. anyway no, I'm not, I'm, if you are in the skincare community you probably understand why i'm doing this but i'm not going to talk about that please anyways um this is the packaging it's a black tube the active ingredients are avobenzone three percent homocylate ten percent octocylate five percent so there's been a ton of talk about if black people can burn if black people are susceptible to skin cancer and all that one thing i would just tell you is that the best anti-aging product you can ever get is a sunscreen so if you are not using your sunscreen use it and reapply every two hours i know a lot of people complain that you know it's hard reapplying every two hours i will make another video to explain different ways which you can use your sunscreen and reapply every two hours or feelingly you're going to enjoy it it's going to be fun i mean it says that you should apply library 15 minutes before sun exposure i have definitely used this but let's pretend that i've not tried it before so that you guys you know can see how it looks like so i am going to scoop out a few i'm supposed to do the let me do the two fingers method you know if you really don't know there is an adequate amount of sunscreen that you're supposed to be using but i prefer to use the two finger method because i feel like it's easy and everybody understands it um yeah so this is how it comes out white um you might think that these two fingers is a lot of sunscreen but really it's better to be safe than to be sorry what is falling down really it's better to be safe than to be sorry so it blends in so well like okay so it took about i'll say a minute or two to blend it in properly i'm just going to pack that into the i think we are good to go so this is how it looks it leaves it leaves this kind of glow on your skin it doesn't leave a white cast um i've seen a lot of people try this out even people with on darker that have darker skin tones than i do and it's amazing um you can buy this if you're in the us you can buy this off the black girl sunscreen website you can buy it on target i don't know any other place but i'm sure of those two if you're in the us if you're in canada i don't know any verified place that sells this in canada 
but i have a friend in the u.s that can you know help you buy skincare products and ship to you um in canada i'll leave her details in the description box um what else i don't know i'm sure pretty sure you might be able to find it on amazon if you're in canada but i am almost 100 percent sure that the price will be hiked so it will definitely be more expensive than it would be if you're buying it directly from the u.s if you are in nigeria this is sold at casabella stores i am 100 percent sure about that i don't know if it's currently in stock because i know that the last time few people reached out to me to ask about where they could get the sunscreen they said it was sold out so i don't know if it's back in stock but i'm sure that casabella stocks black girl sunscreen so um this is three ounces for 19 us dollars like i mentioned earlier also um if you're in nigeria it retails for i don't know how much it is now but as at the last time i checked it was about nine thousand naira yes it was about nike um to be honest i don't know if the price point is great <laughs> because i don't I, I don't know if the average nigerian can spend nine thousand naira on a sunscreen but i will say if you can give it a try as you can see it is perfecto and i have not seen a negative review about this white cast they also have one for kids that one i'll leave the picture on the screen it's about like white i think it's white in color unlike this one that is black if you are using the recommended amount of sunscreen which is about two fingers long for the whole of your face and reapplying every two hours like you're supposed to this shouldn't last you more than maybe two months which is normal i don't know that is like normal you know to, um, turn a, turn around rates for sunscreens max three months so um get put that in mind if you want to get the sunscreen um and i'm sure that many other sunscreens too i don't think if you are you can use them more than three months if you're using the recommended amount of sunscreen that you're supposed to be using this is also owned by a black woman um that is amazing there was a time she came to nigeria she had a tour in nigeria and she met with a couple of nigerian influencers and they had like a an event i think at casabella in lagos and i feel like that was amazing because a lot of skincare companies don't ship to nigeria a lot of them don't even recognize nigeria you know as a country <laughs> fact that she's black and she came to nigeria worked with nigerian influencers and decided you know these people are black too so they deserve to enjoy black girl sunscreen they deserve to enjoy sunscreen just like every other person i felt that that was really cool so yeah that is my review of the black girl sunscreen should you get it absolutely because it is great it is actually black girl friendly like the name suggests the price might be steep for you 19 dollars on the sunscreen that you run out of in two months might be steep but i think it's a pretty good deal um if you turn it around to naira nine thousand naira now that is looking like uh, but i mean if you can afford it go for it it's an amazing amazing sunscreen so thank you guys so much for watching let me know other sunscreens that you like me to review i should be having a a video coming up soon on black girl friendly sunscreens pray for me that i don't forget <laughs> or something but yes i should work on that and I sh that video should come up soon let me know if you've ever tried black girl sunscreen let me know which is your favorite sunscreen do you even use sunscreen at all let me know so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye